millions of followers are given the go-ahead to spew hatred because Kanye West did it. A normal white guy walked past us, and he just very loudly said, there's another Holocaust coming for you Jews. Everybody in that coffee shop should have stood up and said, get out of here, you are not welcome. Why do you care what some rapper says? Well, he's got a lot of people that listen to, follow. Uh, his combined social media followers, 50 million, versus the approximate Jewish population globally, 15 million. So he's got more people following him than there are in terms of the approximate Jewish population. Now, I've got a question for the audience, and I said I was going to ask you a question that you might not anticipate. My question to you guys is, you say that you care, and I I, I'm, I'm not doubting you. My question is, why? If you're not Jewish, and you just go on and, and live your life, you don't go to synagogue, you don't go to kosher grocery stores, you just go on about your life, why do you care? I'll start with you over here. I'm a gay person myself, so when you the lady behind sorry was saying about how she doesn't look Jewish, and uh, I've had yeah I've had people say that to me before. You don't look gay, so you can't be surely you're not gay. What does gay look like? You know, so I think it is important because we're all from different groups, and for me, this is the same as being hated for for being gay. All right, who else? Any sickness that infects and affects one of our brothers and sisters will ultimately impact us. Martin Luther King Jr. used to talk about the connectedness of humanity. He would say what affects one of us directly ultimately affects all of us indirectly because we're tied together in an inescapable web of mutuality. When you have persons like Kanye West that spew such hate and animus directed at Jewish people, ultimately that sickness will infect the whole of America. And I think what we've seen with Kanye West and the like over the last several years has increased the animus that's directed not only at Jewish people, but those who are different. And that's a major issue that should concern every American and not just Jewish people. For sure. Yes, ma'am. What starts with Jews never ends with Jews. It engulfs modern society as a whole. Yeah, hatred is like us. It's like if a skunk was in this room and sprayed, it could spray over in a corner, but it would permeate the whole room. Absolutely. We are all members of the human family, and that's, that's what you're doing here today, Dr. Phil. Thank you. Top NBA superstar Kyrie Irving suspended for posting a link to an anti-Semitic film. Because of the influence he has, the platform he has, I can imagine that you know thousands or hundreds of thousands of people even may be looking into what's in this movie or its ideas. Kyrie has already been condemned by the NBA. Now it's cost him his Nike deal. If you see someone being bullied, your kids at school see somebody being bullied, and you stand by and watch that, then that person that's standing by and watching it is what I refer to as a bystander bully. Doing nothing about it, saying nothing about it, taking no action about it makes you complicit. It's your inaction. It says, well, I guess this is okay. If we allow the loudest voice in the room to get the most attention, we're making a big mistake. When they said that to you in the coffee shop, Everybody in that coffee shop should have stood up and said, get out of here, you are not welcome. That's what should happen. That's what everybody in this audience should do. When you see that happening, you should stand up and say something about it and say, that is not welcome here, you are not welcome here. You don't talk to my friend that way, you don't talk to my neighbor that way. And then turn around and introduce yourself to your new friend because that's what you should do if you care about your fellow human beings. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.